Hey developers, so today we are gonna look at testing in Vue. This is the second video. If you haven't already checked out the first, you can go ahead and check out the first. But this video, we're gonna go through and add a few more test cases and we're gonna add some test coverage into our app. So let's begin, but before we get started, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. Hey guys, when you're building your own website, whether it's for yourself, your business, or a brand, one of the hardest things to do is to find that awesome domain name that is short, relevant, and shows the world what you're all about. Which is exactly why I went and got viewcourse.tech, which goes so seamlessly with my brand. I'm currently using it as a really great website platform for my new view course, and it's absolutely perfect. Join the likes of Viacom, Intel, and CES, and get your very own .tech at a whopping 90% off on one, five, and 10 year domains using the link go.tech slash Eric. It'll be in the description below. Only this Black Friday. The sale starts on the 26th of November, so you can pre-register now and get a further 10% off on the same day sale. So make sure you go to go.tech slash Eric in the link in the description below, pre-register and you can get an additional 10% off. Thanks. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I am also an author, a YouTuber, and uh, I really like Vue.js and I also like Angular and React. But in this video, we are gonna focus on Vue. And if you guys like these type of videos where I go through and I teach you something, where I go through a concept like testing or Quasar or something like that, some of these newer frameworks and utilities and stuff that's coming out, make sure you click that like button at the bottom and make sure you subscribe. That really helps me out. So make sure you you hit that like button, so that'd be cool. All right, so let's begin here. And if you don't remember from last time, I had this top header spec file. So I have this app that uh, has this logged in, no, and sign out button. I just wanted to make sure that this was working correctly. But I also have this secret route. And if you look at the secret route, and uh, here it is here, I have the secret text at the top, but then I have this V4 where I essentially I, I loop through the secrets information and I display the name. So the way that works is once the app is mounted, I um, run this Firebase auth, I get the current ID token, I send it over in the config and the header, and then I wait for the response and then I get some secret data back. So let's see if we can test this. What I wanna do is uh, is just make sure that when I get secret data back, I'll go ahead and stub out this Axios call that this this uh, information, the secret dot name, is actually displayed correctly for us. So what I'm going to do is just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to refactor this instead of having all this code in the mounted hook. I'm going to put it in its own uh, methods. So I'm going to do methods. And then inside here, I'm gonna go um, set up, I guess it'll be set up secrets. And here's where I'm gonna copy and paste some data. So here is my token. I'm gonna make sure this is async, async, there it is. And I'll do this dot set up secrets in here. And that'll make sure that it runs the setup secrets. And I'll just make sure all my tests are still running. Okay, so it passed, all of them are still passing, which is good. So I didn't break anything there. Cool. Uh, all right, so now I'm going to go and create a new file. So I'm going to unit, new file. This will be our secret spec.js file. And just to speed up the development a little bit, I'm going to go into the secrets and the top header, I'm just gonna copy some of the things here. Now I have on auth state change and sign out, but if you look at secret.view, it uses current user. So we'll have to create a new mock for that. Uh, so let's just grab, let's just grab everything here. And uh, I will go and delete what I don't need. So. Let's see here, we're not gonna, we don't need on auth state chain, I'm gonna delete that. We don't have sign out, but we have 
let's see here, inside the secret view, we have the current user. So we should be able to mock that out. Just do current user. And that's going to have, there's a get ID token. And we're going to have it return blah for now. So that's the current user that we're mocking out. And then we don't want to test the top header. We're testing the secret. That view. And we're going to shallow mount. So instead of top header here, if we look at, um, it's not inside components. It's actually inside views. So we're going to just change that out. So this is going to be secret. And we're going to grab it from the views. And this is going to be called secret.view. Cool. So we made a little bit of progress there. Now we don't need all these in here. So I'm going to delete these out. And we're going to make sure that, oops, does that, Sometimes I delete too much and I get this error. Let's see here, did I delete too much? Let's make sure I didn't break anything here. Let's see, did that work? Okay, that works. And so let's see, did this render? So I created the wrapper for shallow mount with a router. And let's see here. Okay, so it's estimating it, gave me an error. So I have an unexpected to token. I think I have too many. I'm not closing everything here. So let's see here where I'm missing it. That's here. Here. Oh, looks like top header. That's not right. That's supposed to be secret. And where else are we messing up? So we got here, 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 that looks right. We have flush promises, we can just get rid of that since we're not using it. Let's see if we had any more errors here. Okay, so everything's passing now. Oh wait, no, it's not. Yep, it's passing, secret pass test unit. So now we know it renders, but we really wanna do is check to see if we can find out if this secrets um, this that we do the setup secrets actually what we this yep that's right so we do this um, setup secrets here we call it from here and we want to see if when this axios message gets hit if we can put some dummy data in there and make sure it shows up correctly up here okay so let's let's before we begin let's create a mock for the axios route so to the Axios will be what we need to uh, to mock out here. So we'll just do const Axios, and that will do a git, and that will return a function, and that will return a promise, and we're going to resolve it. And we don't really need this, actually. We can just do promise right here, resolve, and then we can put in what we want it to resolve with. So we're going to put a data object, and that's going to have an object inside it with a char ID of one and a name of one, two, three. And now we need to use that Axios and mock it out inside here. So we have this um, mocks to the router, but we really don't need the router. We, we need is Axios. So if you look inside secret.view, Axios is actually on the view instance because we added it in. So that's how we're doing it with this right here, this, this dot dollar sign Axios. So that, that's what we're doing there. So now what we can do, since we're mocking out this Axios, it's gonna return back this data here. And I'll go ahead and just comment out the router since we don't need it. It's, it's sending this data right here. So we wanna see if that data is actually being sent when the app loads. Cool, so, so to do that, we're gonna do expect. We're going to use the wrapper exists and well, let's do this first. Um, I'm going to go back to the secret out view and I have this H five here. So I'm going to do a const and I'm put call it, I don't know, my secrets and I'm going to do wrapper 
dot find, and I'm gonna grab the H5. And now I'm gonna do the expect on the my secrets. I'm gonna grab the text from it, and I'm gonna assume it's gonna be the data that I put in through here. So it should be one, two, three. So let's see if it's correct. So I'm gonna put one, two, three here. I'm gonna save it. And it's running, and it's, it gave me an error that we did not return, uh, find did not return H5, cannot call text. So I had, it's giving us an error, but remember we probably should try to, to flush the promises. Remember we have this way, we did this in the top header where we have flush promises and that just resolves all the promises that we have. So let's try that. So we're gonna wait flush promises and make sure that works before we um, do everything here. And what we actually wanna do here is let me, let me grab all three of these and let me create a different, uh, a different test here. So we'll call it it successfully sends data on mount when promise resolves correctly. And now we'll do this here and we'll make this async and we'll try it. We'll save it. And it looks like all, all of them passed. Cool. So if we make it something like one, two, three, four, we save it. Now it fails and it says it should be one, two, three, expected one, two, three, four, but got one, two, three. So obviously it looks like it's working. Cool. Uh, so that's really all we want to do in secrets just to see if when this method, when we mount this method that it returns back what's correctly inside um, whatever gets returned. And then that is successfully showed on the screen correctly. So I'm not going to worry about the uh, the headers or the tokens or anything. That's something else we could test maybe with an API endpoint, we can have API testing, but we really don't want to test that through, through our unit tests. All right, so I'm going to show you one more thing. And by the way, um, if you guys are interested in Jest, I kind of was running with Jest.mock and mocking these things out. If you go, there's a, if you go to Jest.js, if you just look through here, I was looking for a logo earlier. There's some really good documentation. And so you can kind of get an idea of like the expects, how you do manual mocks. Um, there's actually this mocking folder that you can put all your mocks in this right here. You can put dollar dollar uh, underscore underscore mocks underscore underscore. And you can, if I wanted to take all the code that I was using for Firebase and put it in one place, I could do that. Um, there's actually a library that's that I saw out there that you can use to help with mocking for Firebase. I haven't tried it, but it looks like it might be useful. So anyways, go to jestjs.io and read up on, on Jest and all the cool things you can do with it. So between the view test utils and Jest, you should be able to test your app completely. Um, it does sometimes take a little bit of time. When I was creating this demo, I, I got a few, I, I ran into a few roadblocks, but it's not too hard to figure those out. Okay, so one last thing I wanna do is add code coverage. So if I go to the just config.js file, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this from another screen. I can add this. Uh, I'm gonna put collect coverage true. And then this, you put collect coverage from, and this says collect uh, from the source files for all JS and view files. So if I save that, and I look at my uh, test suite here running, it's uh, taking a time and oops, let me fix this this back again. It should be one, two, three, not one, two, three, four. And let me just stop it. I'll, rest I'll restart it again. And so it's running the unit watch test, the unit tests all being watched. And so this should take a moment and it should show us the code coverage. All right. There it is. So you can see here, um, all files, components, top header, says I have 90% statements, branches, 100% functions. And by, by the way, I believe you can actually set up the Jest so it creates like an HTML file. It, it creates a whole, I think just by default, it creates this whole 
coverage folder, which has XMLs and reports and everything that you can use to take a look at it. But also just you'll see it when you run your when you run your tests. So you can see here's the top header. Now you're probably saying, why is it only showing top header dot view? What about all your other components of view components? And I found this bug and I don't know why. So one thing you can do if you're having issues, like if I went into uh, so if I look here at my test coverage, I'm missing a few things. It shows uh, top header and secret, but let's say I wanted to add in uh, the login. So sometimes for some reason, if you don't have your style tag set up correctly, or if you're missing something in your data, it won't show correctly. Um, so here's my style tag for SES. If I put a div, an empty div in there and put, I don't know, color inherit, sometimes that uh, fixes it. So now you can see here I have my login view. So now it's showing up in there. So it's something weird that sometimes you have to put a style tag on the main div and then it shows up. And I don't know why it does that sometimes, uh, but uh, just keep in mind that sometimes happens for your code coverage. All right, so that's all I got today. Let me know what you think about testing. That's probably the last testing video I'm going to do for a little bit. Uh, and uh, if you guys really want me to do more testing, you know, leave some comments below with some questions. Thanks.